Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video and today I'm celebrating uh, my first AR that I bought 10 years ago. I got this rifle on September 1st, 2012. Uh, purchased it for $850 <laughs> along with two magazines. One was a Stanag mag and one was a, um, was a Magpul mag and um, included was a cleaning kit by Otis and like 60, 60 rounds of assorted 5.56 and 223. So uh, the guy, uh, the day before, I saw it on arms list, and it was for this rifle. It looked different back then, which I'll, I'll explain later. Uh, it was, but he had an ad for this rifle for eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred bucks back in twenty twelve seemed like it made seemed like it made sense. So I wasn't tripping over it. I called the guy and asked him, "Was that the only person who um, who called you?" He said, "One guy called. One guy did call before you did." And he was asking if I was willing to go down to seven hundred dollars. I told the I told the seller I'll pay you eight fifty if you hold on to it uh, till tomorrow. Um, and you know he said you got a deal. So he met, um, so before we met up at PS uh, PSA parking lot where I can go test fire it. I uh, went to a flea market with some friends and I ended up getting a, a fifty caliber ammo can and two extra Stanag mags. So I guess I was you know kind of getting myself ready to have a collection of magazines for just this this uh, this. Rifle platform. Anyway, we met up at PSA. It had no sights, which was fine. I test fired it, even though I was hitting like uh, maybe a foot high. Uh, I I liked it. I liked the handling I had, and I uh, you know paid for it in cash. Uh, they gave me the rifle, the magazines, the cleaning kit, and ammunition. And ten years later, I still got it here right now. So when I first when I got the rifle initially, it had a PSA lower, which this still does have. But it had a flat, complete flat top stand, um, stag arms upper. And uh, the barrel was a 109 twist. It had a low profile gas block. Uh, so I had to go out and purchase, you know, I like carry handles. So I got a carry handle sight and I had to get, uh, I think it was, a, I got a flip up front sight. I believe it was made by Midwest Industries. And that's how I had it for some time. I later went ahead and got a Magpul um, forearm for it because it had the traditional stock AR-15 form. Uh, I had a bad lever, which you know this is on the other side of this rifle. Um, and basically the bad lever was like a, a like a theoretical enhancement, you know, kind of make make you you know allow you to operate the rifle a little bit faster by not having to you know not having to you know move your hand to slap the side of the rifle. You could just push a button like a, it was a, basically a lever on the um, inside the trigger guard. And I know a lot of people had they had issues with those, but uh, I liked it. But I took it off of this and I actually put it on one of my AR pistols because I figured it'd be more, you know, I think I figured it'd be more uh, high speed for uh, something that was a bit lighter than you know than this full size, uh, well, this full size uh, carbine. Now the reason why I now one thing I want to mention was I um, I didn't like the up I didn't really like, care for the flat top. I actually like the A2 front sight and having a bayonet lug. So I decided I was going to sell the the original upper I had for it, and which I did, and later uh, I think I sold that for two hundred dollars. Later I got this um, this complete upper from PSA, uh, I think in twenty twenty. Um, thankfully, thankfully it came with the A two front sight, one and seven twist, and a bayonet lug, because it's awesome to have bayonets for your rifles and for your shotguns for that matter, and. Um, and here it is. Uh, I do have, I do have one AR that has a has the one well, of the cold hammer forged barrels made by FN. So it's one of their premium uppers. Uh, I thought about taking that upper and swapping out for this one, but one thing that stood in my way was Magpul does not make foliage green furniture anymore. <laughs> um, I know this kind of I guess sounds like a silly you know a silly reason, but I actually liked how unique the rifle looks. I like the foliage green. And I think it's even more unique to know that they don't make that coat, they don't they don't make their furniture in that color anymore. So I figured I want to keep it as is, because uh, I had gotten this handguard, like I said, back when I was uh, back when I had the original Stag Arms upper. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd keep it as is. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I like the I like the look of the I like the classic look of the you know kind of like relate kind of like similar to the M4. But I think I, you know, I figure I go for a more modern look, so I have more modern furniture on it. Plus, it is more comfortable than the stock furniture that you get with, you know, any plain Jane AR-15. That's what I keep inside my pistol grip. I'll show you guys. 
Uh, nothing fancy. I know a lot of people keep like batteries or cleaning kit um, or like even an uh, extra round. But in my um, mine, I just have a uh, front sight tool and a spare firing pin. The reason why I keep it inside this uh, this plastic bag is because it keeps it from rattling um, when the rifle is being jostled around. You know, so it just keeps everything from making a lot of noise, which is good because sometimes, sometimes the noise can be a bit annoying. And that's that. Uh, also, this sling is nothing fancy. This is just one I've made from. Actually, this sling came off of uh, off a paint sprayer, a portable paint sprayer, uh, and I decided just to repurpose it for you know, you know, for my AR-15. Um, the back end is held on with paracord, so nothing fancy. Just well, maybe a fancy knot, but uh, you know, pretty simple, low profile, no frills. Not really high speed, you know, not really low drag, just a basic AR-15. But I, um, I'm, think, I'm actually happy that I kept it this long. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I have considered trading it out at some point, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to keep it as a, just to see how long I can keep it for. And so far I kept it 10 years, and I think it's pretty, I think it's had a pretty good run. Let's see if it can go for another 10 years. But that's my video. Please share your thoughts. Do you still have your first AR-15 or any for any uh, firearm you purchased, you know, many years ago? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, any gripes, complaints about my video? Send me a PM. I see I can do to address them. But that's my video. After ten years, I still have my first AR-15. I'm Ever Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. Stay strapped. And God bless.